Well, it's August 18th, 2019. This is a weekend before uh, the Tennessee antler only uh, early season hunt, which is August the 23rd through the 25th. This morning, what I decided to do was get up early for daylight and uh, come out here and, and get in the middle of this great big CPR field. Uh, just kind of watch, see what's moving. It There's a lot of deer out here, but it's hard to see them. I, I did see one decent little old buck come in, bed down. But I just thought I would try this, see what happened out here. I think what we're fixing to do is go and try to check some trail cameras, see if we got anything showing up on some mineral sites. Uh, we might even go scout a little bit into some, some hollers and stuff, see if there's any kind of a uh, mass crops dropping yet. Uh, that's basically going to wrap us up for today anyway. It's, it's going to get hot. It's supposed to be like 96, 97 degrees with heat, uh, high humidity. I think it's supposed to be like that next weekend too for the hunt, but you know, we'll we'll get out here and see what we can do. I right, just <clears throat> we're just easing down this cornfield here. There's a lot of deer deer sign here. A lot of you can tell they've been coming in and out a, a lot. The corn's really starting to dry down. I guess you could say the corn's probably ready to be eat because there seems to be a lot of deer using right here. Look at the. Uh, fresh deer mess. And that's what you like to find when you want to hunt. This is a good spot to try to hunt, I think. I edge this cornfield. Looks like the deer is using it. Got a pretty good little opening here. Here at the old disc. You can tell there's some corn that's been cut down. Some of it might be uh, raccoons and some of it might be squirrels. But some of this probably is going to be deer. I'm sure they're, they're starting to eat these ears of corn off, off these stalks here now. I eased off down here in a holler into some hardwoods. We got a mix of white oaks, red oaks, chest oaks. And usually the chest oaks are the first ones that starts dropping here in, in southern Tennessee. And it's still early for them. Uh, usually it's about the first September, maybe first week or two of September before you start finding a bunch on the ground. But we've had some pretty good storms move through the other day, so I think it's blowed some off, but there's also some sign where deer's eating here. We we got some uh, deer mess right here on the ground. I don't know if y'all can see that. What well, we got, I found several acorns here that's a, that's a pretty good size acorn that's kind of what I'm talking about they'll start dropping first deer start eating them even when they're green like yet deer they'll come through and browse on it and there's a lot of activity around this tree here right there's the trees that that it's dropping out of these here and this big one right here they are there's some sign here. You can tell they've been on the ground here. Here's another pretty good acre right there. They'll turn brown looking, black looking. Deer really eat them till the white oaks starts falling. And then they'll move off onto the white oaks on it. That's a pretty good sign. I think we're going to have some acorns this year. I had pretty coos. <clears throat> just eased up on that little buck, bedded down there. He was just taking it easy. He's 
laying on the back side of this cornfield. It's this old growed up field. Maybe used to be some cows in. I don't know if there's any in it now or not. That's pretty cool just to run up on a little buck bedded down like this. Let's go check out some more places. Hey, y'all check out this salt lick right here. I call it salt lick, mineral or lick. Most of the time we just put salt in it. It's been, uh, it's been here for several years. You know, it's quite large, but we get a lot of deer pictures here, a lot of does and fawns, and we'll get some pretty good buck pictures here too. One thing that's pretty interesting this season is, though, I don't know if y'all can see it or not, but check out these acorns that's falling here. Look at this. Look at there. Wow, some acorns. Big old red oak acorns. They're falling all out. It's laying all out here in the salt lick. There's another right there. They're laying in the salt lick. I don't know if, I, if it gets much better than that for early season. There's a, there's a bunch of them on the ground. I don't know if the camera's picking them up or not. And then another thing I, I noticed, in this part of the world we have what we call a musky down. So we got musky down vines growing on all these trees up in there. Uh, they're starting to fall. They're not hardly ripe yet, but you know, you never know. Look at there, there's another humongous acre. Got good color, good size. There's a ton of food source here. Plus we got our salt lick. And then, of course, on the tree there, we got the old Primo camera out. It's a, it's a good one. If y'all ain't using a Primo, you need to give them a try, man. It's one of the best cameras we're running right now. I don't know, we're gonna pull the card off of this one here and see what's going on. Maybe there's some bucks showing up here. here the woods come up on the edge of a little old field here. There's some low hanging limbs here off of a big old chest oak acorn tree. And I believe we're gonna have a lot of acorns here in the southern, southern part of Tennessee. I don't know if you can see that. There's, a, there's some acorns right there. It's like there's some on these, if there's only these, hanging on these low limbs, usually the up, upper limbs, top of the tree will be just covered up with them. But I believe, uh, I believe we're gonna have a pretty good acorn crop this year. Also, I found another tree I hear. I always check it every season. It's always pretty loaded, but we'll see if it is. They come persimmons. Look at these here. You see them persimmons hanging on these? I mean, look at these stuckers. They're green, but boy, they are gonna be loaded. I mean, it's already got the tree pulled down, the limbs. Deer, every varm, everything likes, likes these right here. And this tree here is just absolutely loaded with them. I mean, some big old persimmons. Like you wouldn't believe, this big wads of them. And all these acorn trees right here. Uh, I guess this is a wrap for today. Hot, or sweaty, itchy. Feel like bugs or ticks and stuff crawling all over me. We've checked tree stands today. Checked trail cameras, checked mineral sites. Done a little scout and found some acorns and persimmons and musky dimes. Uh, next weekend is a Tennessee antler only uh, early season hunt. Most people call it the velvet hunt. We we're gonna try to try to try our luck with it. Um, this be our last out, and till then we'll be out probably Friday morning. Or Friday afternoon, whichever one we decide on. We're going to take all these cards we pulled out of these cameras and uh, check check them out and try to put a game plan together and then, you know, see what we can do. 
uh, if we don't bring, hopefully we can bring y'all some next video. Maybe have some deer hunting on it. Maybe some, uh, maybe some good hunts or something. But if not, we'll keep bringing you some more videos. We're fixing to start food plotting probably the first of September. We'll be disking and sowing. Uh, we're hoping there we get a good stand uh, in our little food plots. And we'll also be uh, scouting more, looking for more acorn sign and stuff like that. So. I hope everybody that hunts the velvet hunt this coming weekend has all, all kinds of luck. Hope you kill the biggest velvet buck you ever seen in your life. Till next time, thank y'all for watching. Jeff Littrow Outdoors.